Saturday morning, it's just absolutely started hammering it down. I can't believe the weather in May, isn't it crazy? It's like so bad, I swear like the whole of May has just been super rainy, which I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'm not mad about because I feel like it's really cozy. Um, but I feel like usually May in England is a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more less, less stormy. But yeah, it's currently Saturday morning and i just really felt like picking up the camera and chatting to you guys today so i thought i could vlog this weekend um we don't really have any major plans but i thought we could just see where the weekend takes us i am currently feeling very like insecure because i'm in the process of scrubbing my tan off and i actually look like a loaf of tiger bread like my skin is so crusty right now um and we have the girl of muse photo shoot on friday so less than a week until the photo shoot and i want to be photo shoot ready on friday even though i'm not even getting any pictures of myself i just want to feel really nice and i feel my best when i have fake tan on i know that sounds really silly but i genuinely don't feel like me without fake tan on i feel very much like don't look at me don't look at me i'm too pale um so yeah i'm probably gonna have to not fake tan until like wednesday oh my god wednesday because otherwise it will go crusty again i'm also trying not to get any moisturizing product around my lips because my dreaded eczema is back basically i used to get eczema all the time when i was little and over the years i kind of get flare-ups um and i've actually got a really like itchy flare-up here here and here on my eyelid and oh my goodness eczema is just the most just like irritating thing um and i've learned just to not put any product on it like even products that are meant to help i just i like to kind of just not use anything so the only thing i've got on my lips is like a slightly tinted um balm which i find never irritates them and i can wear that and it doesn't like annoy the eczema at all but i can't get any kind of like moisturizer on it the last time i had eczema really bad too much information but it was on my nipple and um no one knew what it was and i went to so many doctor's appointments and they actually had to take a sample like a um a hole punch makes me feel weird out of my nipple to test it to make sure that it wasn't anything really serious and it comes back that it was just eczema um but that was itchy let me tell you that that was that was new level itchy anyway first things first this morning i am actually going to laminate my brows um i last did this i think it was like january february time and i really 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 loved it i feel like brow lamination is a perfect way to just make your brows look done without doing them um so you can almost like wear no makeup and not have to bother with your brows it's just amazing and i feel like it really does make them look a lot fuller and i just really like the results of it so today i'm going to be using sassy saints lamination kits how gorgeous is the packaging of this i love all of like the nude and the gold and then inside of your box looks like this there goes the instructions but how aesthetic is everything? I love it. I just think it's so pretty. And then the instructions is a newspaper, which is so cool. I just think it's so different. And I love all of the tones. I love all of the branding. It just feels special when you open it. It's not like, here's my brow lamination kit. It's like, wow, 
How gorgeous is that? So inside your kit, you get your instructions and then inside your box, you get all of your products that you'll need. I'll talk you guys through what I'm actually gonna use just in case you haven't done brow lamination before. And then inside of here, we have got mascara wands, lip gloss wands, earbuds and also cotton wool pads and also some cling films so you have absolutely everything you need for brow lamination in this kit and another thing i love about the sassy saints brow lamination kit is the instructions are so easy like literally step-by-step -step instructions on here and they all have pictures as well which is amazing first things first i am going to take a little before picture just so you guys can really see the difference front camera on iphone sometimes i really am like do i actually look like this <laughs> okay first things first you need to clean your brows whenever i do brow lamination i do like to do it completely makeup free just so i can ensure there's no like makeup or anything um in my eyebrows so i do like to do it kind of like in the morning or in the evening when you haven't got any makeup on um and your skin is really really fresh i've also just had a shower as well and i've just done my skincare so i know that my skin is already quite clean but i am just going to go over it with the clean it from the kit i'm just going to pop a little bit of this on a cotton wool pad and just go over my eyebrows just to make sure that they're really nice and clean ready for my brow lamination okay once your eyebrows are nice and clean the next product you need is the number one product which is called stick it what i love as well about this kit is all of the products are labeled like one two five so you know what order to use them in so you can't kind of like make a mistake so what you need to do with this this is basically glue um, and what you need to do is you need to take a mascara wand and just brush your eyebrows in the direction that you want them so i like to do my eyebrows section by section because otherwise the glue starts to dry so i'll start at this part so i'll like do a little section and then i'll brush that up i like to kind of go that direction um i don't really like my eyebrows to go like up because i can look a little bit like a werewolf so i like to kind of like brush them that way and then brush this one that way so when using the stick it product what you want to make sure is that none of your brows are like curly um, so you really want to go over them quite a few times and just try and make sure that every hair follicle is pointing in the right direction um, because this is what kind of like determines what shape your eyebrows are going to be. I'm actually going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see my eyebrows properly. Okay, the next step is to use the Shape It product, which is number two. And for this step, you will need to use a lip gloss wand. And then you want to apply a layer of the Shape It product onto your eyebrows. And if any of your hairs do move after you've applied the Shape It product, you can just go over them and kind of pop them back in place with a mascara wand, which is what I like to do. And then what you need to do next is pop a little bit of cling film on each eyebrow, which is included in the kit. Just uh, bear with me whilst I find the end of the cling film. This is literally one of my most hated things. Oh, I think I found it. Trying to find sellotape ends and cling film ends. It's just not a bit of me. A little bit of cling film on both of my eyebrows. And then I'll leave this on for around 10 minutes because my eyebrows are, I'd probably say normal. If your eyebrows are fine, leave this on for six to seven minutes. And if you do have, have quite thick eyebrows, you can actually leave this on for 12 minutes. So 10 minutes is up. I'm going to remove the plastic film and all you need to do now is remove any excess product with a cotton wool cotton wool, cotton wool pad no cotton bud it's a bud i always get those two mixed up and then after you've removed the excess i'm going to add some fix it product with another lip gloss wand so something else really important to remember when you take off the little the little plugs for the bottle always pop them back on after using them because this is what keeps all of your products really fresh um, because each sassy saints brow lamination kit 
will actually allow you to do six of these treatments, which is really, really good, so you can reuse them. Okay, after applying the Fix It with your lip gloss wand, it's important before you pop more cling film on to go over it with another mascara wand because this is the step that's gonna fix your eyebrows in place. So you really wanna make sure they're like in the direction you want them to go and you haven't got any like curly hairs and everything's just pointing in the right direction because this is how your eyebrows are actually going to stay. Because if you don't do this step, you'll end up looking like Albert Einstein or a werewolf. So after applying the fix it, I'm gonna get some more cling film and I'm gonna leave the cling film on for again another 10 minutes. Okay, another 10 minutes have gone by and it's time to take the cling film off again. Oh my God, they look so nice. Um, so the next step is you need to go back in with the cleaner, which is actually labeled as number four. This is the fourth step in the process. So you just need to pop some of this on another cotton wool pad. And also when removing your product, try not to like rub your brows. You want to just kind of like brush them upwards in the same kind of like way you've been brushing your brows because you don't want to you don't want to ruin it in any way so yeah just nice brush strokes up to remove all of the product and removing the product as well i do like to just go over my eyebrows again with the clean it and i just like to go over them with a cotton bud just to really make sure that i've got all of the products off okay last but definitely not least a very very important step which is number five boosting and with this one you want to apply a good amount of this onto your eyebrows because this is what will actually replenish your skin and keep your eyebrows really hydrated as well another really really important bit of aftercare advice what you want to do every single night before bed is just pop either some conditioner or some hair mask on your eyebrows and you want to take one of your mascara ones and just brush them through this will help your eyebrows just stay in a really lovely position it will also help them feel really hydrated as well even though all of the ingredients in the sassy saints lamination kit are very soft it's really important to just keep your brows in really good condition hey my loves that is the end of the treatment i am so happy with my eyebrows let me let me zoom you guys in so you can see properly so as you can see my eyebrows just look so much fuller and i find brow lamination as well it makes them look a lot thicker um so i feel like round here my eyebrows look like i've drawn them in when i haven't and i love as well just like how how neat all the hairs look because they all point in one direction now i would just like to say as well you can still brush your eyebrows down so don't feel like they're literally stuck in like this position because they're not they just will stay like this basically without applying any product to them so you know how your eyebrows would look after you've applied like a brow sculpt they'll basically stay like that which is amazing so in the mornings you can just pop a little bit of the boost it serum on and your eyebrows will stay like this, which is so much quicker than having to do your eyebrows every day. So my loves, I will leave a direct link for Sassy Saints down below. Such an easy, easy way to laminate your brows. I feel like the instructions really are just so, so simple. And like I said as well, the ingredients used are a lot softer, so it's completely safe to do it at home. Um, and we all remember my brow lamination disaster last time. I feel like this has been very much success. This is something that I like to do every few months. Um, so you should leave it eight weeks between each brow lamination. And like I said, it lasts from six to eight weeks, which is such a long time. And in your Sassy Saints kit as well, you'll be able to use this six times, providing you pop the little the little plugs back in each of your products just to keep them really, really fresh. So plans for the rest of this very rainy, cloudy Saturday are, I have a few bits in the kitchen that I need to do. Um, I'm gonna make a new batch of lemon and ginger tonic because I've been without that for like a week now and I feel like I just need it back in my life. It makes me feel so good. So I'm gonna make a new batch of that and I've also got loads of ginger, like I've been stockpiling ginger in the fridge. I've got so much I need to use. Um, I'm going to make a batch of that. It's just a chill day today, really. I think I'm going to catch up on a few TV programs that I need catching up on. And 
it's just gonna be a really cozy, chilled day. My favourite thing about Saturday afternoon is this cosy little situation right here. Most, we are the the least most. The least, <laughs> we are the most leastest. We are the we're the opposite of spontaneous, whatever that is. I don't know. I'm quite spontaneous. I'm very spontaneous, actually. Are you? Yeah. I would never have you down as a spontaneous man. I don't deal well with spontaneousness, but today I'm actually I like tell, I don't I, feel stressed, which I, is amazing for me. I just want to say about what happened this morning then. So basically, I saw it was a beautiful day. Oh no. And I knew we was going to beach and I was like, right, let's see if we can find a nice little place. And we did. We found a lovely little cozy place, didn't we? Oh my god, it's so cute. It's like a, basically guys, imagine a giant beach hut. It's a giant yeah. beach hut. It looks so it's cozy like and cute. Basically. But um yeah, then I was like, oh I found a place and I was like, oh this looks amazing and it's available this evening near where we're going. And I'm like Right, how am I going to pitch this to Gemma? Were you actually thinking that? <laughs> yeah, I told you that as well. I did say to you, I was like... So you wouldn't have gone ahead and just I'd booked show... it? Well, I was tempted, but then I was like, mm, I just want to make sure everything's right, like cats and stuff. Mm. We've got um, mum popping in to feed the cats tonight and in the morning, so they will be absolutely fine. I just thought, I'll show her. I'm going to take it up to Gemma. I'll just show her the... I can't believe So you had this planned. Well, I was looking at it downstairs. Yeah, and I was... I thought, what, how am I going to pitch it to you? So I took it up there, because I know you love a plan, you see, and you might have had something planned, but you went with it for once, which is nice. And it was really, like, I, I think maybe I'll adapt to this more spontaneous Gemma. It is this nice. could be the start of something beautiful. I think it Who knows? Be. So yeah, we are currently on the way. Um, I'll show you guys around when we get there. It looks so cute. It's like a little, like a little hut thing. It's really cute. And we're popping um, to see a house on the way. Yes, we are just on the way. Every, any opportunity to see our house, we <laughs> will fully take it. And because it's on the way to the beach, we thought, let's go and check up on it. Also, I have an update for you guys. Um, well. A, a mini update. We're just um, moving closer and closer to the beach, aren't we? <laughs> our aim is just to live on the beach. Um, I'd love to retire imagine on the beach. That. Like, how imagine peaceful would that you, actually be? Office view, right? This is the this beach. is the office, right? This is the dream. So you've got your desk in front of you with your computer screen, right? And then you've got like big bifold doors or something out onto a little terrace overlooking the sea. It, oh, it just sounds like, like uh, just like dunes with grass on them and stuff. The only thing is, Jamie, my wow. only fault in your plan. Yeah. If we're retired, why would we need a desk? I didn't say retired. I'm always going to need a desk. I've decided that I'm an artist now. Yeah, Jamie thinks he's like a, a designer. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the creative director. <laughs> the other day, Jamie was like, "What kind of outfit would a direct like would a creative person like an artist wear?" <laughs> so we like put together this outfit for Jamie which was like a, quite a baggy linen shirt, um, yeah. jeans and then Birkenstocks. That's, the that's his shoot. artist. Yeah, that's is that your photo shoot outfit? Yeah. 
That's where she went. And then I sent you a post from Instagram of this really random looking guy, didn't I? Oh, and yeah. Said, Tip he... it up to the photo shoot. Like, yeah, but this kind of guy looked like he was Joseph in the, in the Technicolor dream coat. Like, he was wearing tassels. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jamie seems to think he's some kind of artist now. No, oh, that's the life I want to live, so why not? Picasso over here. <laughs> so, anyway, the news. Um, we had a potential move date, kind of. Basically, we're aiming for the end of June. So you guys can yeah. expect moving vlogs so end of June. So we can make the use of our uh, stamp duty holiday as well. <laughs> we're cutting it very fine here. Very fine. Yeah, so that'll keep you guys updated. And, yeah, next month we can be in our new house which is so exciting. Um, moving vlogs come in. You guys have been asking a lot about moving vlogs and I just wanna let you know that they're all coming. We'll be doing a packing up, moving in, a first night, empty house tour. It's all going on. It's all going on. You could do a how-to build IKEA packs wardrobes when you build my wardrobe room. Yes! <laughs> if you would like to see that, let me know. I feel like IKEA flat pack doesn't need to be any more stressful than it is. Why is there so many pieces in the flat pack? <laughs> also, guys. Why is there always a screaming? Sneaky McPeakenstein. What's that? What are you on that? Exciting. Something very exciting. Absolutely desperate to put that on. I'm like, Joe, please don't put it on because that is. This is actually for the photo shoot. This one. So basically, we <laughs> got like all of our full girl of mood samples um, last week. Like the first time we've seen the finished products basically we just got the photo shoot ones delivered because obviously we've got the photo shoot on Friday and then the rest of them are coming very soon but I was just so desperate to wear one I was like please can I wear one of the photo shoot ones but I was only allowed to wear this one um, because basically Jamie said it's brown and I can't get fake tan on it or coffee well, please don't get anything on it anyway because that I would be I'm, catastrophic. I'm literally being so careful but I'm just so desperate to wear it because you have no idea how long I... Basically, Jamie, I've waited my entire life to find an oversized hoodie that is like just perfect to wear. I'm so and, happy with the quality of them. Oh my god. They're, they're amazing. I can't even explain to you guys how just like incredible they fit. I mean, there's been a lot of refinements to get to that point. But <laughs> there has. I feel like some people think a hoodie is a hoodie. A hoodie is not a hoodie. I thought a hoodie was a hoodie. It's not. Like, <laughs> with, I think, feel like, <laughs> for someone who has craved a perfect oversized hoodie their entire life, it's so hard. It's even down to, like, stitch detail. Yeah, to like everything. The around the shoulder. And... I wanted, like, a super dropped shoulder. Um, and I wanted the hood as well. Another thing that was huge was the hood to be, like, really sturdy. Originally, um, it came, like, it wasn't double-lined, was it? It had, like, no. a thinner layer on the inside. And it like, there's nothing worse than a floppy hood. No one wants to wear a hoodie with a floppy hood that kind of just like sits on your shoulder. Um, huh? There's one thing worse than a floppy hood. What's worse than a floppy hood? A floppy dick. Jamie! <laughs> Let's not say the word floppy anymore. Um, but yeah, there was, there's been so many like fine details gone into these hoodies and they're just absolutely amazing to wear. Like they're so, oh, they're so comfy. Anyway, guys, we have just arrived at the house. Oh, look at our sold sign. We are just pulling up onto our new drive. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We've got a gate now. Oh my God, we've got a gate now. I was saying earlier, isn't it crazy that we're basically like picking up our lives? and just moving them. Yeah, we were saying that a minute ago, like how do you feel about it? I feel really excited. I feel really excited. Like I feel chapter. like this is right. Um, do you guys remember me saying, when we, do you remember when we first came for our first viewing and I was like, there must be a reason why I'm putting this on the internet? Because I wouldn't usually put something out there that I wasn't like 100% sure of. And we drove by um, one that we looked at previously as well. We did. And it just didn't feel, that house never felt right. Anyway guys, we are going to go through our new gate, which we've never touched before, so I need to <laughs> properly touch it. And, ooh, and then we're gonna go and stand in our garden, which we always do. We just stand in our garden being like, is this really our lives? I was saying it feels like really relaxed out here. Like it's so really much peaceful. more relaxed mm. than in Peterborough. Like we're out the way here, but not like, out the way, out the way. Like we're still close to what we know, but it feels exactly. like There's not just much peaceful. Around here. It feels bloody lovely. There's lots of fields and stuff. Anyway, let's go test out our new gate. Guys, I don't know if you can see this, but can you see our log burners in? Look! Oh my god! 
god how exciting i can just picture the christmas tree there also that is the wall that i'm hoping to knock through i say me we're hoping jamie can knock through the wall guys but this one here i kind of want to get like an arch because that goes straight through to the dining room bar imagine the fireside christmas the countryside christmas by the fire I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Oh, how's the new gate? Is it? What's that little thing? Bye lovely house You say goodnight at our first little stop which is the beach our newly discovered beach that we love um and then the place that we're actually staying is about probably about 40 minutes from here would you say uh no i don't think so it's not that far oh really yeah probably like 20 minutes how are you feeling in your shorts really nice actually i moaned at jamie earlier day. saying you're wearing shorts are you mad it's going to be absolutely freezing and then I'm the hot one <laughs> now actually no to be fair it's like perfect 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 beach weather bbc weather lied to me once again where it said it was going to be like minus 10 degrees and it's actually really lovely i'm gonna pop my little jacket on and then oh where's my phone found it we are gonna take a lovely little walk on the beach we're at our favorite new little bit that we discovered the other i think it was the other week we brought you guys with us to the beach um and we sat in that pub over there and had food actually you guys came with me when i came with mum the other day this is the bit that we came to and it's just so i don't know i feel like it's very remote oh there's someone flying a kite sorry i was just replying to our host what were you what are you chatting about i was just chatting about the weather they said it's ready for us sorry i'm hiding behind you they, they were just saying that it's ready for us to check in now if we want but Yay! i said no worries because we're at the beach at old Stanton <laughs> and the weather's beautiful and i'm wearing my shorts <laughs> Jamie's been dying every time there's like the tiniest little sorry guys you're very very bright every time there's like the tiniest little bit of sun Jamie's got his shorts on do you know what these ones are the old faithfuls as well they, I've had these for about probably three years really yeah. top man wow you do actually love those that's ones. how old they are top <laughs> beach is absolutely beautiful today it's like perfect beach weather it's a little bit of breeze it's such a sun trap me and mum were saying when we were here last time that this little bit i think it's because of like all of the dunes and i don't i don't know why but it's such like a sun trap it's absolutely beautiful it's so nice to see everyone just out enjoying themselves as well like it's just it's really lovely oh my god you guys just missed a classic so as i was talking to you i think i'd hit i think i'd stopped recording just as i did it but i literally just stacked it on this dune because i was walking along this little path here and i just like tumbled on my side <laughs> can confirm it was hilarious did you enjoy it? Was it entertaining for All you? All I was worried about was that hoodie getting dirty. <laughs> Literally, Jamie like pushed me off the tune like the hoodie. I was like, wow, <laughs> don't worry about my first leg. reaction. My first reaction was like, you were right. My first reaction was that was hilarious. I wish I caught that on camera. <laughs> oh yeah, but after that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Look at that kite, it's crazy. It is a practice to get that quick. Oh my god, that's actually unreal. <laughs> it's like going in loop de loops and all sorts. I used to be that good on a kite. <laughs> I remember my first kite. <laughs> <laughs> you said my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me. Hey my loves, we have just arrived. The rain is making it the ultimate cozy vibes and the little like hut 
it's just here it's so so cute are you ready for a little room tour just checking jamie has finished um having a wee oh jamie right? jamie has a oh you still we still need to show everyone that jamie's great at like toilet roll origami <laughs> at christmas <laughs> wow now I think they have what is that? some it's got like a circle of water just like stamped it down and it's dry. Maybe they've got an actual stamp. What do you mean a stamp? A toilet roll stamp. <laughs> if there's such thing I need one. <laughs> so guys, look how cute this is. I love this i think that's going to be so cozy this evening especially if it's raining um so this is pretty much it you come it's in through the shed. door it pretty much is a shed but it's, it's like so trying to squeeze by. cozy <laughs> so just outside the door we have got a little patio area here jamie's just gone to get everything out the car but i think that will be so nice later if it does clear up a little bit um and then inside a fridge a microwave some tea and coffee bits here and then as you come in we've got the bed which looks so cute and then a little bathroom down here just need to squeeze past the bed <laughs> the tiniest gap ever got a little dresser here oh the bathroom's lovely that shower looks beautiful so cute oh i love it it's everything you happy with it yeah it's nice isn't it such a good find oh we oh yes should we do a haul yeah let's do a snack haul <laughs> so last time you guys saw us we were on the beach and we went for a little walk we tried to get a picture oh my god wasn't it so hard i saw this like pose on pinterest um, and I thought we need to recreate that and it was the hardest thing ever. I'll pop the finished product on screen, but trust me when I say it took over half an hour. Um, it took a long time, but we finally got the shot. Um, and then all of a sudden the beach became very dark and there was a gigantic gray cloud over the, over the top of the beach. And then we got back to the car the heavens basically just opened and didn't rain so much like as soon as we got back in the car yeah. so that was perfect timing um and then we popped tesco secured all the snacks for tonight and <laughs> we've just arrived so let me show you what we picked up from tesco this is taking me back to santorini Do you remember when you laid out all the snacks on the bed like really perfectly <laughs> you don't remember that i'm gonna have to show you that bit of the vlog later yummy oh my gosh look at these these are a new thing that jamie found doritos stacks they're basically copy and pringle right <laughs> yeah basically that's what that is oh oh my goodness i actually my life is complete right now i said to jamie last night when we were in bed oh i well fancy some pick -a mix and tesco came through um what is your guys favorite pick a mix sweet mine is chocolate raisins even though these ones do look slightly mangled like i don't really know what's happened to those and fizzy straws and normal straws and the like tubes <laughs> wow jamie with his torch <laughs> the straws with like white in the middle i don't know if they actually had i can't remember if i actually got any of those i think they only had fizzy ones um but i'm very very happy about the pick a mix Prosecco. lovely we'll crack that open soon shall we and also these are the best ciders oh jamie loves yeah. these ciders i got a selection i'm just not a, a beer kind of girl i just can't drink it i kind of wish i loved it but i don't what, beer yeah like it's beer, it's cider yeah they both taste the same to me though suffolk cider <laughs> while we're in norfolk <laughs> So we've got some popcorn and I thought we could pop some chocolate in the bags of popcorn. If you haven't done this, by the way, the best snack ever. So the best thing in here actually is either minstrels or Maltesers. Pop them in the bag with the popcorn, shake it all up and you get little bits of salt on the chocolate. Like it's amazing. So I've got some white chocolate buttons and these one of my favorite chocolates ever so i'm probably going to mix these two and then jamie got malteser buttons i also got a green machine smoothie to balance out all of the chocolate and then i fancied some 
fresh bits as well. So got some watermelon slices, some bananas, and I got Jamie and I a berry medley. If you fancy a berry medley. Oh, are you gonna do a taste? Oh, go on then, Dorito. I wanna see them. Wow. Do a taste test. What flavour are they? Pleasure. Mexican chili salsa. Mm. Mm. Tell us more. What Not notes? Too spicy. Ooh. I'm getting notes of Mexican. Anything Mexican else you'd like chili. to add? Chili. Gonna have to have another one. What's the spice level? Mm. Low. Out of ten. Very flavoursome. Also, well. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much the weather has literally changed in the in a matter of minutes. Absolutely pouring it down a minute ago, and now it's nice and sunny. Airbnbs have literally the most random places in the world. They truly do, and also you never know what you're going to get until you get there. No, <laughs> like it can they can be very deceiving online, mm. and then when you actually get to the place, you're like, wow, I'm in someone's front garden. So, guys, a moment that I've been dreading all day is taking my hat off and revealing my fringe. I actually had to... Oh! Look, it stayed! I don't know why you don't love it. Because you tell everyone, look at Gemma's new haircut and laugh. When? When you were on the phone to Jake the other day. You were like, oh, Jake, Gemma, show Jake your new hair! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Only for Kurt. I just wanted to see your hair because it was a fringe. Because it was funny. Guys, so basically, Kurt and Bangs update. Um, I haven't really. Do you know what? But here's the thing. I'm quite lazy with my hair unless I'm actually doing something. Um, and I've also decided recently that I really hate my hair down. So. Would you like a prosecco, darling? Oh yeah. You want a little strawberry in there? Oh yeah. Or out the berry meds. Yeah. Yeah, go on then, you're gonna have to Do you know what I mean? Coat. You've got to make two, haven't you? <laughs> what glasses are we gonna use? These ones, the wine glasses are just here. Oh! But yeah, Kurt and Bangs update, haven't styled them yet, so can't really say. Um, but. I hope Gina's not watching. Yeah, but G Gina knows what I'm like. Gina She's won't like. She's got both of us now to put it with. Oh yeah, Jamie gets her, his hair cut by Gina as well now, but you love it, don't you? Yeah. I do You've got a haircut on Wednesday. Just may I add, I'm not moaning about how Gina's cut it, because Gina always does an amazing hair. Gina's an artist. Gina is an artist. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> always wanted to do that. <laughs> wow, that's a big glass of Prosecco. <laughs> No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's a wine glass. Yeah. Jamie, we know what I'm like. I'm going to be on the floor. Oh. You're cute. Look at that for service, eh? How many are you having one? Uh, I was going to have an ass for. Okay. Everyone. I'll get on to your potato later when I've finished all my assholes. <laughs> actually will though. <go. laughs> wine's um in your daily wine's a daily thing for you at the moment, <laughs> isn't it? Glass you know of wine what? about four PM. The thing is four PM I wait until the Come least. on, it's no. like it was four the other day. I try and wait for six, but sometimes it's half five. <laughs> sometimes I just need it. <laughs> sometimes it's half five. I had three beers the other day. Jeez. You get a bit leery after There's three beers, out. Jamie. What do I do? You just get a bit uh, were you drunk the other night <clears> when you were being a little bit annoying? Probably. I remember just thinking. What, more annoying than normal. Yeah, you were, mm. you were doing something, and I remember. I just remember <laughs> you annoying. I just remember you being a bit annoying, and I was thinking it's because he's a beer. I like drunk people so annoying. When you're sober, drunk people are <laughs> incredibly <laughs> annoying. Like I genuinely don't think I could handle like being like a barman or something. No, I honestly couldn't. How was your prosecco? Really, really nice. Good. Can you taste the strawberry in there? Yeah, kind of. Mm. It does taste a little bit like, but a bit sweeter. Mm. Try it. Okay. If you were a rapper, mm. what would you be called? Two drinks. <laughs> Two drinks. 
Don't steal my drink. Oh god, I've had a sip of Prosecco. Uh oh. Here we go. What are we going to do for dinner? Oh, we're going to have a Thai dish. Yeah, we're going to have a Thai dish. Oh, yeah. Snack. piece is burnt. <laughs> we might. Um, we were going to see what takeaways were around here. Wales is literally five minutes away. Yeah, road. really, really nice. So I think we're probably going to pop out and get fish and chips. I love that hoodie. I'm going to have to break my no fish. <clears throat> does, does fish and chips count? I feel like a bad human. Well, I mean, we did what, what we watched the other day about the fishing. Overfishing. The thing is, are you not going to have fish then? I think the main message of that was cut down. Yeah, like live it. And to be fair, I haven't, I haven't, apart from the tuna panini incident, I haven't had fish since then. Don't overeat fish. Mm. And I've only had meat literally. Like we had chicken a few times, but like. And also. We used to. Yeah, but we used to have chicken every single night, didn't we? Can I say we watched the octopus teacher as well? So don't eat octopuses. But, right, I've got mixed reviews on the octopus teacher, right? So, my sister... I think he was an absolute octopus pervert. Didn't, didn't she big it up massively? <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be, like, really, like... Because when my sister was like, he learnt so much from the octopus and, like, they, got, they had a really good bond, I was thinking, oh, my God, we're going to basically see, like, the life of an octopus. And it was basically, <laughs> right, I was, if you haven't seen the octopus has it, teacher... Has it seen an octopus babies and I crazy. will sum it up for you. The bloke thought he was in a relationship with the octopus. Like, he he was literally like, Nailed it. I knew she had to move <clears> on one day and have children, but it was just so hard to watch. I was really upset. And he was like, he kept referring it to as their relationship. What about when he literally let it get eaten by a shark? <laughs> and he was like, I wanted to help, but I, just, <laughs> I couldn't. And it heart broke my I'll heart. i tell you what, if a, it if a shark started strange. eating Teddy, I'd be over there in a flash. It was very strange and he was like, we touched for the first time and he just had this like octopus chilling on his chest. It was, it was just, it was strange. <laughs> it was, I was expecting it to be so much more and I said to Amy for afternoon tea, I was like, we watched the octopus, what is it? Octopus teacher. teacher. And it was strange, she was like, why? I was like, so I feel like I it's just us. Yeah, I don't know whether it's just us being stupid and having a bit of a laugh about it or it was weird. I don't know. I said to you when it ended, I've literally spent an hour and a half watching some guy go into the sea every day for a year for some octopus to crawl all over his chest. And he was following it around. I was thinking it was going to like hold his hand and like take him to like all its secret places. <laughs> it just wasn't what I expected it to be, guys. It just wasn't. What did it actually teach him? Nothing. <laughs> Zero. Nothing. Best pick mix ever. These are the best, the straws. What's your favourite? <laughs> We're just sat here eating sweets, <laughs> staring at nothing. What's your favourite one? Mm. Mm -hmm. Coke bottles? Mm. Mm. Coca-Cola bottles? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Even the stickers on the light. <laughs> mm. The place cracked shade. Mm. Interesting. Date guys, we're now reading the guest book. Just trying to work out what a touch is. <laughs> <laughs> Towch. The torch. Oh, the torch came in Chain. handy. That makes sense now. Oh, that's nice writing. <clears throat> that's really nice writing. 20th of October 2020. Can you read this to me before we go to bed? <clears throat> is it that bad? Is it that boring? <laughs> <laughs> Such a snug. Cozy little brothel. What? Does that say brothel? <laughs> what does that say? What? Cottage? No. Brothel. What does that actually say? Mmm. Guest house? <laughs> That's so nice. We've decided to pop out for a little while because it's only quarter to six. Um, so we are we gonna pop to Wells? We've read everything in the room as well. Yeah. We Stickers. read the guest book. 
clothes, <laughs> pillows, labels, everything, literally. <laughs> so close to Wells, we are gonna pop over there, go for a walk, um, maybe get fish and chips if we're hungry. I have just eaten a lot of pick -a mix So the place that we're staying in is called Stiff Key, and on the way here from like Old Hand Stanton where we were, there is this village that we discovered last time we came to the beach that basically is our goal to live there. That's like our, that's, that's where our forever home is gonna be, isn't it? And they are these beautiful, like, houses made out of, what, what would you say that is? Like, cobble? Is it a cobble house? Yeah. Like, made out of cobbles, but they're, like, like long flip. barn conversions. And they're on, oh my god, they're just so beautiful. And the whole, like, village is so cosy. Um, so, yeah, that's where, hopefully, one day, we you know will be living. You know you've made it in life when you live there, I think. Definitely. It looked amazing. wells that's like cornered off here um if you come here i think it's like end of december beginning of january time there's all of these seals giving birth on this bit over here and it's the cutest thing ever literally looks like teddy and tilly just like laid <laughs> that's what they remind me of when they lay they look like little seals i think we just saw a seal over here but we're not sure if it's someone's dog or not there are people there, but they might be looking at the seal. <gasps> the dogs aren't allowed in this bit, so it must be a seal. Oh, let's go around, okay. oh my god, let's go see if we can see. It says, seals on the beach, please help protect seals hauled out of the beach. Oh. <laughs> Stay over 25 metres from a seal, they need to rest on land. Oh, I love them. I hope it was one. Guys, if we get to see a seal today, today is a good day. What? What is it? Don't fling it at me. Someone's stockings. Someone's stockings? Someone's stockings? What do you mean, stockings? Do you mean tights? I don't really know what it is. Yeah. Why is someone's tights maroon. on the beach? Maroon tights, not any old tights. <laughs> a maroon tight. And a glove. Get yourself a new wardrobe on the beach today. He's got a glove. <laughs> if you're going tights. out to the beach today, <laughs> winter wardrobe, that's why people are getting rich. Hey. Wave. <laughs> oh my god, Jamie, it's a, it's a seal. It's coming in for people as well. <gasps> I feel sad. It's a Labrador. Oh, do you know what's really funny? Like, it looked like a seal from far away. Like, swimming so fast towards the land and I was literally like... And then it, it had legs. It wasn't a seal at all. It was a dog. dogs of the sea. Are they? Well, that's what I think they are. I've never heard yeah. of a seal like being dogs. referred. It does look like a dog until you see it come out and it has legs. Yeah. But then like, Tilly and Teddy also seal look like seals, legs? so are they cats of the sea? No. No, catfish are cats oh, of the sea. They do have whiskers as well, but then so the dogs. Mm. Jamie, get that away from my head. This is here to avoid disappointment that we just experienced <laughs> over there. Still not over it, by the way. I'm still very upset that <laughs> I thought it was a seal and it was a dog and got out of the sea and started to run on its hind legs. Um, but the reason I was convinced it was a seal... <laughs> and its hind legs? And its hind legs. That means back legs. <laughs> it just like came out like... <laughs> Walking like a human. Really trying to trick you. Is it a seal? Is it a dog? Imagine if it just got out of the sea on its legs like... <laughs> <laughs> its hind legs. <laughs> Early when we were in the car on the way here, I listened to Mellow Magic in my car. If you haven't listened to Mellow Magic, listen to it. It will change your life. It's so good. It's such like a nostalgic, oh, it's just amazing. It's such a good radio station. It's so chilled. It's mellow. It's magical. And um, Beauty and the Beast was on. And I just, you know what? I just love that song so much. Tell us all this time. You know the words. Don't pretend you don't. Jamie, I'm talking to you. I don't know the words. Sing it. Tell us all this time. time. That's all I know. 
Da, 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 da. You don't know it either. Da, 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 da. Do you think we're doing that thing? Da. Where we're really loud and everyone on the beach can hear us? Definitely. We are the beast. I'm a beach clean up today, aren't I? Today, I've got a glove, <laughs> a spoon, a net. Let's not forget the net, which actually came in handy. A piece of cardboard. Don't forget the stockings. <laughs> yeah, the maroon, maroon stockings. stockings. Whoa, hang on a second. This later. is actually extendable. What? I'm actually keeping this. Come to the beach with Gemma and Jamie, they said. It'll be fun, they said. So, our plan for this evening is, are we getting food? Do you want food? I'm really not hungry today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can go finish my beer. <laughs> yeah, Jamie had to put his like, you literally had like a few sips of your beer. And I was like, we started reading the guest book and I was like, do you know what? I think we should go out. Um, so I've got my Prosecco <laughs> waiting for me. You know, when you start reading the guest book, Jamie was on like page out. seven of the guest book and I was like, I think we should go out to Wells for a bit because we're so close. Um, so Jamie's beer is waiting for him in the fridge. My Prosecco is waiting for me. Did you put my Prosecco in the fridge? No. My warm Prosecco is waiting for me. <laughs> but however, you put a whole bottle in there. You won't drink it. Yeah, true. I oh, definitely won't drink all of it. I really don't feel very, like, I don't feel very good, Jamie, to be honest. I feel a little bit peaky. Maybe keep walking until you are hungry. Well, I might I get, get jealous of yours, day. though. You will. I it's might just get mushy plan. peas, mushy peas from the fish and chip shop. Oh, just mushy peas. Yeah, just mushy peas. And I'll have a few of your what chips kind of and dip it in the mushy part? peas. Oh, can I share just a bit of yours? Sorry? Can I just share a little bit of your dinner? Because I just fancy like oh, a little, enjoyable. I just fancy a little bite. Okay, I'll get a big one. Yeah. And I'll just have like, I literally <laughs> just want like five chips and a bite. I don't want one How of my old own. How are we? Like senior, senior citizens. <laughs> Let's get a senior. Oh, let's get a senior citizens fish and chips. Well, you can't because they're for senior citizens. And you need to be. Over, you need your uh, ID and stuff. My mum gets. A you need your bus pass. Mum, my mum gets her senior citizens fish and chips, and I remember the first time she ordered one, she got really embarrassed, and she said that she like whispered it to the fish and chip much of the fish and chip man, and he was basically like. One really senior boring. fish and chips! And she was like, <laughs> that'll be me. That's so funny. Right, I've just realised I, I keep so. looking at this as well. I keep completely I forgetting the lens is here. View viewfinder is there. But I want to make sure that like, I'm in focus. Thing. Yeah. I really don't know what... I feel like I'm really rambling. Ran out of battery. I really don't know what to think about my cameras. I just don't know which one I like. So I keep like switching between the two in videos. So I hope it's not annoying and it's like really noticeable. Um, I'm really out of breath. <sighs> Jamie, I, that Prosecco has gone straight to my head. <sighs> Crikey. <laughs> Sorry if you don't like mushy peas and this offends you, but <laughs> I think they're amazing. Good evening, everyone. We are now back at our cosy little hut shed. Mm. I feel like it's more of a shed. I love it in here. It's honestly just so, it feels really nice and cosy. I think because it's all like so small, it just feels so cosy. Um, Jamie's just in the shower, if you can hear lots of water. I have just got out of the shower and I know this sounds really sad but whenever we like go anywhere one of the main things I look forward to is the shower. I know that's really really sad. I always feel like showers when you go away are so much more powerful and so much hotter than your showers at home. The one in there was so powerful it was so hot like I like my showers to burn me. I like to be red when I come out of the shower. That's probably really not good for me, but I like them to be really hot. I, um, it makes me actually, when I was in the shower, Jamie's literally just said the exact same thing as I was thinking. It reminds me of the showers that are in our new house because they're like really big walk-in showers with like the rainfall bit and oh my God, they're gonna be amazing. I literally cannot wait for that. So yeah, I'm feeling lovely and fresh. We've had the loveliest 
today it's now actually just gone half eight so our plans for now are we are going to get into bed with our snacks and i've just got a film actually that jamie downloaded earlier um i've just been watching the trailer because jamie has got a bit of a habit of we make a joke out of it picking really bad films <laughs> like he's just not a good film picker um but this one actually looks really good and it's called american fable i ended up having fish and chips earlier and i feel very like oh. fish and chips is always that food that makes me feel like a slug um i feel like it's such a heavy like dense meal um and yeah i just feel like i could lay down forever right about now um, I wasn't actually going to get any, but then I just thought, I feel like I'm going to regret it. I feel I got some, and to be fair, it was really, really, really delicious. I didn't regret my decision. But yeah, I'm ready to lay down in my food coma and watch our film and just chill out for the evening. It's really lovely here. I was saying to Jamie when we were driving back from the beach, it's very, very peaceful here. So my loves, I'm going to sign off for tonight and I will see you in the morning. Then I. You said my world of good afternoon everyone happy monday please ignore just the chaos which is behind me jamie's desk which is just always a mess um and just the state of me this morning i am having an ugly day it's because i haven't got fake tan on whenever i haven't got tan on i'm like oh. we have not actually long been back it's currently midday um we had a nice lay in this morning but i literally didn't sleep at all um you know one of those nights where you don't actually know if you've been asleep or not so i'm feeling like really just not great today um i can't survive on no sleep i always just feel like really shaky and like sick and oh, I'm, I'm just feeling the no sleep today um the bed wasn't comfy <laughs> The bed was like very, you know, you can feel the springs um, and Jamie kept calling the pillows cardboard pillows. There just is nothing like your own bed. And I think because we literally are so used to our own bed now, um, I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. And I ate chocolate right before bed, so that might have had something to do with it. But I am just editing this video and I just wanted to jump on and say thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us um, for our little spontaneous mini break. It was really, really lovely to get away. Even though it was just for one night, it was nice just for a bit of a change of scenery. And like I said, it was like super peaceful there. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's nice. I always say this, but it's nice editing it now and almost like being able to like relive moments that I might have not like when I edit vlogs I kind of like notice things that I wouldn't have noticed in that moment and that sounds strange but it's almost like reliving it um but yeah plans for today Jamie has just popped to B&Q to get a piece of like board and we're going to paint it white for our photo shoot because we need something to take product pictures on and when he gets back we're going to have like a girl of muse meeting basically me and jamie just kind of like going over everything um because obviously we have photo shoot at the end of this week in four days which is crazy um and then our launch is really really soon as well so we need to just make sure that we have got everything ready we also have made a start on our autumn launch um Honestly, it takes so long. I never realised before until now how long it takes from your initial like idea of what you want, your finished product ready to sell. Like it is so long. Um, for example, we actually came up with all of the designs and colours and everything for this launch in December and it's now like mid-May i.e. that we're like super happy with everything. It's honestly been so much back and forth and you guys know me, I would never ever ever put anything out there that I didn't feel like was 100% perfect so yeah it's been it's been back and forth a lot but we're finally at a like stage now so we're making a start on autumn bits which is really exciting and then I feel like in a few weeks we'll make a start on Christmas um because our autumn launch and our Christmas launch are going to be like very very close so yeah we're going to have a little girl of muse catch-up sesh this afternoon we usually do that on a Sunday afternoon but obviously we were away yesterday so we're going to do that today 
and yeah that's gonna go ahead and conclude this vlog i actually need to read you guys my quote of the day um if you saw my last vlog on wednesday you will know that i'm gonna end every single vlog with like a quote that i feel like has inspired me and today's quote is going to be from one of my favorite books ever this is everything you'll ever need by charlotte freeman um but i'll leave a link for this book down below it's just full of really really like really inspiring quotes so today's quote is do you know what i get a little bit of like when i read out loud i feel a little bit like sickly because ever since school it's kind of given me this like fear of reading out loud my history teacher i've spoken about him many times mr carpenter um he used to like pick on people to read and i just remember sitting in like the classroom with so much anxiety waiting for him to point at me to read because i'm like really i'm really bad at reading out loud um or i used to be like when i was younger like i would rehearse it so many times in my head and like then i would stutter and it was just so much pressure anyway the quote of today is trust your journey don't be so hard on yourself for feeling lost confused or like you haven't achieved all that you wanted to achieve life would be boring if you'd done it all already if you had no more room to grow or things to learn, be patient. You'll eventually figure it all out and everything will make perfect sense. Every experience will get you to where you are supposed to be. Every loss, every heartbreak and every mistake. Don't be afraid to mess up and don't expect success overnight. Get lost, get so damn lost and find yourself over and over again. Believe in yourself, forget what other people think and trust your journey. I love this quote. This is by far one of my favourite quotes in this entire book because I think it's so important to never compare yourself to others. Always, always, always believe that you are on your individual journey, which is going to be like no one else's, which is amazing. And I think, do you know what, it's really hard to believe in that when bad things are happening in your life, but I truly do believe bad things happen to put you on the right path and i think when time goes on you will see that and i just i really really love that quote hope you guys enjoyed that quote as well um i hope you're all having a lovely sunday or whatever day you watch this i hope you're having a lovely day and i will catch up with you all on wednesday bye bye mm -hmm.